Good afternoon and welcome to our viewers from all over the world for this match number four in the DLF Cup between Australia and West Indies live from Kindrara Oval. It also underlies there could be a little bit of swing so the captain will make the toss. What is he going to do? We'll soon find out. Let's go down to Ian Bishop who's there with the two captains. I certainly am. I'm out here with the two captains, Brian Lara for the West Indies, Mike Hussey for Australia and the match referee, Chris Broad. I think Mike Hussey has got the coin. Tails. Tails is a call from Brian Lara. It's a head. It is a head. So Australia have won the toss again. Mike, what are you going to do? Uh, we're going to have a bat first, mate. That's been the pattern of play for the Australians. Whenever they win the toss, they want to put a score on the board and put pressure on the opposition. Time to say good afternoon to Jeff Thompson. Good afternoon, Shiv. Good afternoon to all our viewers. The Australian team, a bit of a different look about it today. Hayden, Matty Hayden there at the top. Kadich Watson's been relegated to number three after his efforts the other day. Andrew Simons in the attack. Hussey, Clark, Haddon, Brett Lee. A bit of action there with the ball when he gets his chance. Bracken, Cullen, Clark. West Indies just making one change. Peter Ledworth, the fast ball route. In comes in Marlon Samuels. That will strengthen the batting a great deal. And also the spin bowling option. 30 p.m. local time an hour earlier. That's where the tournament stands. Australia leading the table with one victory with a bonus point against the West Indies and then two points in the Randolph match against India. West okay, Brian Lara's got to open up with the Bradshaw. Uh, we're going to see Taylor, I think it is, bowl from our end today. He's been a little bit more accurate uh, than his co-partner that's not playing in this match, Edwards. So I think uh, he really has to get on the ball. Simon Katich, the strike rate not very high, but Ricky Ponting, the Australian captain, was not playing today. Two uh, three-wicket hauls in his previous two games here in KL. Three for 59 in his first outing, three for 64. It's been a little bit expensive to start with, but come back later on. He needs to do it right here and now. Yeah. We'll get off the mark straight away. Matthew Hayden getting a one-day international after a long break. He's good stop. Just for a moment, I thought Matty Hayden found the gap. He'll just get the single to end the third over. It's six for no loss, Australia. That feeling change. Uh, Lara's brought himself to a gully position this time. And he's found the edge, but it's in the gap. And what's even more frustrating for the bowler, it's gone for four. The speed camera was slower over there or something. Beautifully executed. Simon Cattage, just a hint of shuffle towards the off stump. Got into a good position. Runs on the leg side. Three men in the leg side, but still good enough to find the gap. Excellent shot again. You can't give him width and also earn in length. He smashed it over the infield and quick enough to get to the boundary. Four stumps. He's a strong man, Hayden. That was not middled, but because he's so powerful, he got enough bat on it. In terms of one international for Hayden. And there's room the other way from Kadich. Instead of coming right down the wicket, he's gone outside league stump. He wants three. Live it, live it. Oh, there's going to be a run out. Unbelievable. And Kadich is going to have to go, but that is an absolute nightmare. Got the footwork in, handy. Door, oh, I don't know, they might have another look at that where the feet were landing perhaps near the rope. But uh, Hayden didn't want any bar of it coming back for a third one. But he has to go, Kadich. Or oh, they're going to hang on a bit here because I'll tell you what, I reckon they may go upstairs stay, stay, stay and have a look at this. Right boot went inside and then picked up. He's fine. That run out will stand and Kadich will go back for an early shower. So Kadich run out, hands on hips. He's got the teapot out, and rightly so. 
eight of runouts earlier in the day, but they've executed one. Shane Watson is the new batsman replacing Simon Katic. He opened up in Australia's last match. He's been run out seven times. And that's a high proportion of his innings because he hasn't played as much as some other players. He's played 43 matches and he's been out 35 times. So seven out of that, that's a fifth of the times he's been dismissed. He's been out run out, high proportion. Is it out? Yes! Lara takes a comfortable catch and Watson goes. I'm missing out too. So, oh, Bish. Very excited here in the commentary box. And that is a good catch from the skipper, Brian Lara. Second power play. Goes for a duck. Today, though, Watson, 42 for, for two now. Andrew Simons. Nice to see him back, actually, in this Australian side. Heaps of experience. Oh, too quick. Went too quickly for Jerome Taylor to get around to his left. There's someone out there. Bravo. Oh, just short of him. Valiant effort. I hope he hasn't hurt himself, but it's gone for four. Kind of figures that you expect from these two big guys. In the air, and that is all over for Andrew Simon. So the West Indies have struck again. Bradshaw getting some success for some very tight bowling and of course like Tony Gregg said that you something's got to give and it's just happened yes it was Andrew Simons uh, who gave he tried to hit it way over the offside field didn't quite get it it ended up being a bit of a lollipop catch and so the West Indies have got themselves another wicket this is a good performance by them they're uh, certainly decidedly more disciplined than they've been in the field in the last two games. So Simon's out for eight, caught by Smith off the bowling of Bradshaw, 57 for three. So the Aussies are finding it difficult to time their shots on this track. Maybe it's coming off a little slower than anticipated. Top form. Oh, that was in the air. He was lucky. That was really a bit of a bludgeon down the ground. So uh, there they are. Bracken uh, top with 32. 16 apiece. Got him. That's a well taken catch. Nicely done. That was uh, relatively short outside off stump. A hard cut shot played by Clark. It hit the top edge of the bat. It went flying away and it was beautifully taken at slip. Well, the Aussies are not coming to terms with the bounce on this wicket. Outside the off stump, again playing under it, the top edge, and there's this tall man, Chris Gale, waiting for it. This is a big, big wicket for them. Clark gone for just one. It's now 64 for four. Mike Hussey, their uh, captain for today. First time he's captaining Australia. He's uh, out in the centre now. Very good player. And that because uh, it may just be... Well, there we are. Now, there's an example of a very good shot. Sure, it was well pitched up. It's going to go all the way to the Midwicket boundary for four. Forming a little better in the field than they did in the first two matches. Oh, that's a good shot. He's got that over the infield, and it's going down to the backward point boundary for four. The fourth over, a little costly. Yes, two. Well, there's two men out there. He might have hit in the gap. He might get two here. Certainly does. Quite easily. This will bring up the 100 for the Australians. Yes. No, he won't get 50. What a wicket to get. Fortunate in some ways, I suppose some would say, but Bravo's got his man. This one, he walks down the pitch, tries to make something of nothing. Bowler sees him coming too early. And all he could do is fend it off his hip and a simple catch around the corner there. That's a big wicket for the West Indies. Jerome Taylor, the catcher. Hayden goes. So does half of the Australian batting, 104 runs. Brad Hayden is the new batsman. Oh, he's gone through. 
I think it was Lara who was uh, maybe the square of the short third man was going the wrong way. He anticipated to his left. Kind of cricketer who once gets settled. He can take a lot of, he can do a lot of damage in the end. Now that's beautifully played. Very delicately done, played it. It's played it fine. Plenty of work for the man at fine leg. He will not get anywhere near the ball. Much needed boundary for the Australians. Good improvisation. And nice play placement as well. Made it look so very simple, Michael Hussey. Well, that's off the edge and uh, that'll go all the way to the boundary for four. I suppose that happens when you've got no slips. They can afford to drive outside the off stump. Oh, that's well placed. And two of them converging on that one. And uh, two runs registered. 150 players that judges the pace very well. Knows what's required. Back for the second here. Will it go for four? It's running away down at that boundary. Yep. It's gone all the way. Hussey uh, has put together a bit of a captain's knock here already. Australia were in a spot of bother. He's come to the crease. He's got 51 or 52. Yeah, superb 50 there from the captain. Uh, Hussey, right from the moment uh, he's walked to the crease. Gotcha, oh, he's gotcha. hit that one. It's in the air, but it's over the top. 20 metres over the top for six. Well, perhaps the time has come. Perhaps the Aussies have decided that the fingers... He's hit that for six as well. That's going to go 20 metres over the boundary. Well, he's uh, deadly dangerous. There's no doubt about that. There. On to 182 for five. Oh, he's hit that beautifully down the ground for six. Well, that's his highest score in one day internationals. The good thing about these strikes from Haddon is that uh, each of them has come out of the middle of the bat and gone way over the boundary. Well, he's got to get these guys really on the job. Oh, that's oh boy, he's flayed that one through the offside field. The man uh, is a little straighter than normal. It's been wonderful batting. Now that'll be 50. His fourth six brings up an important 50 for Brad Haddon. His first for Australia. Yep. Oh, that'll be four. What a piece of uh, creativity. Haddon and Hussey put on Nelson. 111 off only 108 deliveries. The magic comes from Haddon. So many runs have come flowing through the offside. Six. It's cleared the boundary so easily. Play the sweep. It sweeps slog, and this has gone many a mile. Taxi all the way out the back. And his highest score in an ODI now for Michael Hussey. He goes into the 90s. Yeah, beaten away for Hines. Finding the gap forward of square. And it takes him on to 96. 50 now. Oh, four more. Beautiful. That's 100 to Michael Hussey. Thoroughly deserved. As Ian Bishop said, this man is a class act. And to come in at that time, wonderful innings. And he is so pleased. Great innings. <laughs> yeah, just a whelp of pump. He's pumped. He knew his game to a T because it took him that long in first class cricket. And that's gone. That is gone. Uh, I think he tried a slower delivery there, Jerome Taylor. And Drax. Facing Bravo. And he's going to get away with his just. Third man's up, and it'll kick away and spin on for four. 
for a moment there, just from our commentary position. Out. Out. And uh, tried something out of the ordinary as you would do at this stage in the innings, Brad Haddon. It's been a wonderful innings from the Australian wicketkeeper. And a vital one in the context of the match. Another good slow delivery, but a little bit too cheeky this time from Haddon. But, uh, just the slowness of that delivery also uh, coming to grips there. Nice little, little flick, and away he went, down his throat. Haddon goes for 70, good innings. 270 for six now, up inside the circle now. And in a way, Bravo gets away with it. Gale there. But uh, another smart piece of bowling, a good change up and handshakes from Bravo to Skipper Hussey. Played very, very well. Lara congratulating Hussey as well. Time. Because uh, we know Chris Gale and his exploits and what he can do. That strike rate, well, pretty much 79. Very, very handy. And Chanda Paul in the first game against Australia. So consistent there, Bracken, left arm swing. He usually relishes bowling with the new ball. First runs, and predictably, when Chris Gale scores, he scores a majority of his runs square with the wicket on the offside. But often you see how high pronounced the crown of the wicket block is here in Kamrara. Take it as the call. He's taken it and he's given him a delayed reaction from the umpire. Well, I just wonder here in terms of very woody or just material. Back leg. Yeah, definitely pad. And Chanderpaul. Great take from Haddon, but Chanderpaul only has to go off the pad. Big appeal from the Australians. Goes for a duck. And the West Indies 12 for one. Dead. And he's got a part to play. Up against Lee, two slips waiting. Didn't even appeal. You could see, he looked up to see what the umpire was going to do, he was out and he didn't appeal because he could see it. It's over the top. And away for four. Good shot, short delivery, well played. He's about six foot one, but when he lets that ball go is the question. Oh, that's nicely played. That's a lovely straight drive. Just uh, to the right hand of mid off, right off the middle of the bat. A bit of a strange grip. His thumb position is quite interesting. In the air, over the top of slip for four. Uh, going after that cut shot, just outside the off stump, and 36 for 111 overs bold. Bracken. Oh, well played. That's a magnificent cover drive. A little bit uppish uh, in the early stages of the shot, but uh, the field has spread out a little bit. That's out. That's caught behind. That was an inside edge for sure. There's uh, no doubt uh, that that one was out. Swingers, and then he's cramped him with an end swinger. Let's just see what this hits. Back it comes, cramps him. Well, it's got to be glove from there underneath the edge. Doesn't carry through too quickly. But, uh, well, no doubt about it. Uh, Sarwan's gone for 25, unfortunately, just when he found his traps. 44 for two. Brian Laura nudging up towards 10,000 runs. Oh, good shot. That's a great shot. He's pulled it for six. Magnificent uh, shot. Short delivery. He's been waiting for uh, a short ball. The upright. No, he just tested the middle of the pitch out over oh. ball. That's a no ball, and that's gone for four. <laughs> Beautiful. No other word can describe this straight drive from Brian Lara. Back to be at this stage. Oh, he smashed that. 
Well, Aaron Lally's not listening to you. Uh, correct. Oh, that struck even more powerfully. Well, that was asking for it. It was a full toss. That's going to go all the way for six. It's a no ball as well. Not for the first time from Stuart Clark either. Field restriction overs. Oh, well. Well, well, well. 21 off the over. Opportunity now for Watson. That's going to be four. There's no stopping that one. He's got to very quickly amend line. And he crowned it with a phenomenal hundred. But now it's a turn of the West Indies to see if they can emulate it in some way. Post to his off spin. Nice shot. Nice shot. I would think that's one of the more difficult shots to play in the game. That on drive. Well, they've obviously controlled the adrenaline dish. They're doing exactly what the situation demands. Just milk the bowling for singles. Don't do anything silly now. Has brought up his 50 as well, Chris Gale. 50 or 56 deliveries. Second. Get the ball to drift into the left-hander. Then turn away. Oh. Just wide of the man at mid-wicket. Brian Lara's intentions were clear. Great fielding. He wants to take the attack to Dan Cullen. Oh. Well played in the end. I'd have to say he was taking a lot of chances, Brian Lara. But the oh. stiff touch, beautiful. Just allowed the ball to come on and picks up another boundary. Exquisite, pure magic from the blade of Lara. Brings up the hundred partnership. It's in the air, but in the gap as well. Hayden's got a lot of work. Does well. Lara picks up two. Nice. Well, Brian Lara has just uh, reached his 50, 50 or 53 ball, six fours in that inning so far. He's looked pretty solid. He looked very good in the last match as well. Across the line and another four. And that'll go all the way to the boundary as well. This is a nice fast outfield. And it's exactly the way it should be. That's well played. Adden played very well indeed. Oh, that's a big hit. Straight down the ground, all the way for six. Full toss, take that. Well, loose balls are disappearing. Oh dear, now that's not a very good shot. That's the first really loose shot and uh, that's the sort of, uh, I suppose, that's the sort of night that he's had, isn't it? Oh, well played. Well, it uh, misses by Askerik and then he blasts him down the ground for four. Oh, is that going to go for four? No, not quite. And that's a no ball as well. I have an idea who's going to get through to the final. Well, that's been played fine. And is run away. Perfectly directed. Just oh, he's bludgeoned that. He's bludgeoned that down the ground for four. That's a stand in the liver shot. Uh, need 79 to win from another 19 overs at 4.1. This partnership, superb. Uh, those has taken over. In the air and out. Short delivery and, uh, well, i got to say that uh, in the normal course of events, that would end up in the stand. Uh, Definitely not in a power play over. It was short. It was destined to... 
<laughs> go over the ropes, but let's say if it wasn't for the power play, that fielder wouldn't have been there either. So they've got themselves a wicket. The power play seems to have worked for them. Is this the start of something that's about to happen for Australia? We'll wait and watch. For the moment, 79 to Gale. He walks back in just 93 deliveries. It's 195 for three. I think they did. When you look at the four-run result against the Indians, certainly we saw Ramnari Sawan on a couple of occasions seeing... The Oh, that's gone all the way. It definitely has. On to the top of the side screen. He's in control, Brian Lara. That's gone all. Haddon's after it, but he won't get underneath it. it. Must be said that Watson has bowled well in the... You can hear the cry of anguish from Watson. 38 overs gone, 2 2 2 for 3. Actually, BC Lara. <laughs> That's gone flying away down to third man for 4. Well, there are no slips there. If you bowl just short outside off stump, uh, these two are going to cut you away for four. Oh, and that's hit him on the head. That's hit him on the crash helmet, I think. No, he's given him out. Well, that's a bit of a blow. And he's got through the shot here too early. Round the wicket, Lee banged it in. Yeah, it's off the back of the bag. Where are the stickers are? And straight to Hussey, and you'd probably argue, geez, he's a bit unlucky, Brian Lara. Could have gone fine, could have gone a bit wider. He has to depart. And the old Aussie Devils number, 87. 242 for four now. Well, the Australians have uh, got the breakthrough they needed. Uh, Lara is out. Wavell Hines is the new batsman. Oh, he's flicked that one away nicely down towards uh, the boundary at mid-wicket. So... They're not going to... Uh... Lines opened that day. Didn't get too many. But uh, he is on strike now. And he's got him caught behind. Yes, a wide delivery going after it. And uh, Brett Lee has got another one. Could uh, collapse again. He went after this wide delivery. Tried to smash it through the offside field. Huge uh, neck. And uh, nicely taken by Haddon. So, another one is down. 249 for five. 24 to win, 45 balls to be bowled. But um, from a Back. Australian point of view, the good news is that last time they played against the West Indies, they lost their last five for five. In Britley. <laughs> Oh, and it's at the side. Oh, he's got him. I think he's got him. Michael Clark, the most deadly of all fieldsmen in world cricket today when it comes to hitting the stumps. He is absolutely unbelievable. Well, we'll soon find out. Let's have a look. Do not take this man on. Dead eye, Dick. And it is going to be tight. Direct. Oh, he's gone. He is gone for all money. Thank you, Marlon Samuels. This game is well and truly alive. What a magnificent fieldsman he is. The red light is on. He's on his way. He's going to be a force. There'll be a few of those in the ICC Champions Trophy and indeed in the World Cup. 249 for six. Oh, he's had a go at that one and he's got it away for four. Well, this is typical Calypso type cricket front now yeah. oh, he him. he's clean bowled him that was a very very ordinary shot I've got to tell you he just tossed it up a little bit and uh, well, he was walking really he was walking all over the top of it oh boy this is not over yet not over by a long way lovely bit of teasing flight 
And off the pad, onto the stumps. And Smith heading back to the hut. The Aussies are delighted. Simons especially. Skipper Hussey. They're all in there. Smith goes for four. 255 for seven.